Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to share a new Notion template with you guys that has a new dashboard as well as some other improved features. So let's get started. So this template really still focuses on school like my previous ones, except that it now has a main dashboard with a to-do list, photos, and a few widgets. And don't worry, the cool widgets will be the first thing I talk about since I got tons of DMs about them when I posted a photo of this on my Instagram. The specific widgets that we have include a time progress widget, a weather report, as well as countdowns. And there is also an embedded Spotify playlist, which I'll show you how to do as well. On the dashboard, we also have a navigation in the middle, which includes school, work, and expenses. I decided to leave it quite simple so that there's plenty of room for you to add in your own pages. And at the bottom, we have a calendar that extracts data from your assignment schedule for school, which we'll also go into later. So in terms of the widgets, they are created using Indify, which is free. You just have to sign up and you'll have access to a bunch of different widgets. I'll show you how to add one in. Just click the widget you want to create first. And for this example, I'll put in the time progress bar. The widgets are quite customizable, so just play around with them a bit until you're happy. Once you're done customizing, head to the bottom left and click the clipboard icon to copy the link. Head back to Notion and paste the link where you want to place the widget. You'll get a pop-up with a few options. Click embed and the widget will appear. You can then play around with resizing it. Same with the weather, you just customize it to your city and place it where you want to put it. For the Spotify playlist, just head to a playlist in Spotify and copy the link to it. Then follow the same steps as the widgets by pasting the link and selecting the embed option. There is also a website called notion.vip for minimal notion icons if you don't want to use emojis. They have so many categories for icons, so you're bound to find one that fits your needs. You just click copy under the one you want, head back to notion, and when changing the icon, select link and paste the link. So the school page has been revamped a bit with photos that link to the course instead of a list, but of course you're welcome to continue using the old one since that one was quite popular. You have the classic assignment and exam schedule, which hasn't changed much, a weekly course schedule that now has links to Zoom meetings for your online courses, you have the upcoming due dates, which show all the assignments that are due within the next week, and then at the bottom is your list of courses. So we're gonna head into the assignment and exam schedule. The only thing that has changed from the last template is that now there is a new column where you can enter how much the specific task is worth in terms of your grade or if it's just pass fail. The list is organized by ascending date as always so that it just makes more sense as you progress through the semester. Now for this list, there are so many ways you can filter it to see what's due for a specific course or to only see exams and quizzes or to only see assignments, etc. I will actually link the specific video and timestamp which shows you how to customize the page since I've explained it in two different videos now and it will just save this video from some redundancy. But this master schedule has received so much awesome feedback and I'm sure it will keep you guys organized as long as you enter in every single due date at the beginning of your semester. Now, the individual course pages have also changed a bit. You have your instructor info, a course syllabus where you can just copy and paste the syllabus for easy reference, learning objectives, which again, you can copy and paste as tick boxes and just check off as you progress through your course, a grade calculator, which I will also link an explanation of how to use. It's fairly handy if you want to gauge how well you're doing in the course. And then the newest tool on the course page is the exam prep, which I've created to help you keep track of topics tested for each exam and tick off the different types of review you've done while studying. You can also tag each topic as high, medium, or low priority based on your understanding, just so you can plan out which topic you want to study first. Below all that is your notes section if you want to do note taking via Notion. You can organize your notes by week, attach files such as PowerPoints or PDFs, and write some reminder notes in the notes section. If you head into the actual note page, you'll see that there are two sections, one for lecture notes and one for review notes. For lecture notes, it's just simple bullet points you take during lecture or even while you're reading a textbook, whatever works best for you. The review notes, on the other hand, uses the active recall method by applying the toggle function on Notion, which you can then color red, yellow, or green to indicate your understanding. To create a toggled note, just type slash toggle. To 
type the answer, enter in tab so you create an indented note that goes under the toggle. Now, when you click the arrow, it will appear and disappear, which is a great way for you to test yourself while you study. Hence why this is an active recall method. So other than school, I also added a page for work, which is kind of a place to just store your resume and keep track of job applications, which will be helpful if you're doing a job search and you want to see everything in one place. You can type in the company name, the position or title, the job requirements, and any advantages or disadvantages so you can kind of compare and weigh your options. Of course, this setup is totally optional if you have something that is already effective for you in terms of organizing your work life. The last little piece is the expenses page, which is actually a default Notion template that I found to be quite neat. It's quite self-explanatory. The expenses automatically add up to the sum that you see at the bottom of the table. You can label your expenses by category and also filter the list so you only see certain expenses. For example, I could create a new list view, name it entertainment, and add a filter that says I only want to see the entertainment category, and it will show me just that. So that's pretty much the gist of the template. I really aimed to keep it simple because sometimes planners in general can get really overwhelming if there is too much stuff and you spend way more time planning and perfecting each little detail. But I hope that this template does provide a good basis for further customization if you wish. An awesome thing about Notion is that you can also view your dashboard on other devices such as your phone or tablet and any changes that you make will sync across all devices. So do download the app on your other devices if you appreciate having access to your dashboard and making changes while on the go. I will leave links to everything in the description box below. If you guys do end up using this template, don't forget to tag Jana Studies on Instagram so I can see how you guys used it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.